So, um, remember when I was talking about the whole coding thing and making, um, working on this project that I've been working on? I think I'm ready to talk about this project with you guys because um, it's kind of going to come into effect tonight, sort of, but it's not ready for your eyes yet. But yeah, I'm just excited about it. I thought I should tell you guys what this project is all about. Peanut butter jelly? Mm -hmm. We don't really have any other options actually. No. And the dishes are dirty. Yeah, do I know. We suck at doing I suck at doing dishes. Guys, check it out. I got new shoes in the mail yesterday for my friend's wedding. I think they're so pretty. And they're so surprisingly comfortable. And they feel good. But I'm almost like, I don't want, I'm like in my pajama bottoms with like this heel on. So silly. They're just shoes. I don't know what to do with them though because I don't want to wear them too much before the wedding in like the summertime because that's like a while away and I don't want them to get all ruined. Wait, that's next, yeah, in the summer next year. Mm -hmm. So after you go to Europe, mm -hmm. We're gonna have to go back up. Yep. Wow, that sounds expensive. No, it's gonna be fine. I'm saving up so much money. I put another $200 into my savings account yesterday. Wow. I know. Is that now, $200? No, almost 1000 almost, almost 1000 Yeah, specifically for traveling. So I'm really proud of myself. And then I don't know, with the wedding stuff, you're gonna have to get like a suit and stuff, aren't you? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Have you talked to George at all about that? No, okay. We're not girls. Okay. I'll talk about so then how do you figure that stuff out? The day before. <laughs> That's probably not the best idea. We're both in the bridal party. I'm a bridesmaid and Blake is a groomsman. Is that the proper yes, terminology? So uh, we have to get like nice clothes and stuff and we're gonna go back up to Washington in the summertime. That's, I think they're thinking, I don't even think they have a date yet but I think it's like Labor Day, like around Labor Day weekend. I'll be back from my trip by then. And then we're just gonna go back up and we're gonna, we're gonna chill and it's gonna be great. We're gonna have a fun time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think you're gonna be able to come though. Sorry. Okay, I was gonna eat, but I don't know what to eat. We're running out of things. We're gonna go to like, we're gonna get lots of food tomorrow, I think is the plan. And I'm looking up recipes tonight for all the stuff that we're gonna cook. So that way, not a lot of it gets wasted because that's like the biggest annoyance, I think, when it comes to grocery shopping is I get, we get all this food and then a lot of it just doesn't get eaten, like especially veggies, specifically like um, leafy spinach. greens. Yeah, the leafy greens. Like you buy the big things up all the time? Can, do you ever see smaller packages no. of spinach? Like they're always like in a, a tub. Um, but the problem with it is that I get the spinach and the greens and stuff for salads and stuff, but then we run out of stuff to put on the salads. And I don't wanna have a salad specifically of just spinach because that doesn't sound really yummy. Okay guys, so we're gonna take cooking to a new level in this household. About a week ago, if you guys watched the vlog where I was surprised and I got like, I think that's like, that was in the title. It was like so many surprises or something like that. I got this um, Amazon gift card in the mail from my boss for my birthday and it, it's like a hundred dollars for Amazon and so I'm on Amazon right now and I think what I'm gonna get with it are new cooking pans, cookware. The cookware we have now is all non-stick um, and it, they were wedding gifts. We got them when we got married as like a starter set pretty much and so these are like what all of our pans look like and so um, They've been great. I, I've only ever had nonstick pants. This is what the back looks like, very heavily used. I think the thing that I'm getting a little bit tired of is that the it's not heavy enough on the bottom. Um, so like when there's lots of stuff in the pan, this one's not really the best example. I have like a, I think it's like an eight inch um, pan that's a better example, but 
if there's a lot of stuff in here and it all gathers to one side, it like is tippy. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's like tippy on one side. So it doesn't cook as evenly as I want it to. I did a little bit of research and it sounds like stainless steel is the way to go. Aluminum heats up really quickly, but you have to be careful with when you're cooking acidic or um, alkaline foods because it can affect the, the pan itself, but then also aluminum. I guess affects like, especially if you're cooking eggs, it can get um, little bits in your food or something. And um, so it's not suggested. Well, I mean, I don't know. Who knows what I, I mean, like I don't know anything, so who knows. But that's just what I read about aluminum. Ceramic heats up even more slowly than cast iron does. So it's not very good if you're doing like stir fries or anything like that. So I don't think ceramic is what I want. Cast iron is great. Uh, I love cast iron cooking for sure, but they're very, very heavy and um, kind of a nuisance to clean and stuff. So I think we're gonna get stainless steel. And a lot of the stainless steel pans that I've been looking at are pretty cool because they're they are like, the bottom is stainless steel, but then there's a layer of aluminum inside and then another layer of uh, stainless steel on top of it so that the aluminum helps kind of um, acts as a better heat conductor for when you're cooking so you get more even cooking, but then you don't have to deal with the aluminum part of it in your food because the stainless steel protects it. So anyway, it just sounds like stainless steel is the way to go. Cuisinart FCT French Classic Tri-Ply Stainless 8 Inch French skillet. So we have like a French skillet right here that looks pretty good. Cuisinart Chef's Classic Stainless Steel. This is another eight inch, yeah. another one quart saucepan that looks pretty good. And then there's the 12 inch skillet that I feel like everybody needs one giant skillet in their house. This one has a lid too, which is kind of nice. Um, but the reason I was looking at all of those is because you can get all three of them for just shy of 74 bucks. So um, that's why I was looking at those ones. But I really like the look of this French one, like the the edges, I think it's so pretty. I guess what I'm trying to say is if you guys are in love with your pots and pans, which sounds like a kind of silly thing to be in love with, but if that's something you're into and you love to cook and you are in, like you, 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 you love your cookware, I would love to know what you guys use or any suggestions you have when it comes to buying new pots and pans. Cause we, I think are definitely in need of an upgrade. Good morning everybody and happy Friday. So, um, remember when I was talking about the whole coding thing and making, um, working on this project that I've been working on? I think I'm ready to talk about this project with you guys because, um, it's kind of gonna come into effect tonight, sort of, but it's not ready for your eyes yet. But I, um, am making a blog, yay, finally! I feel like it's one of those things that, as a YouTuber, I feel like I should have done, like, a long time ago and never got around to it. But, um, the blogs... Try not to spill. Pouring milk into my coffee. The blog is going to consist of food because here's the deal. I feel really bad because a lot of you guys love it when I do cooking videos and I love cooking videos. Cooking videos are the best. They're one of my favorite to watch. Um, but they take like a weird amount of planning for me to like execute. It takes a long time for me to actually film cooking videos because I just feel like there's a lot more required when it comes to actually making cooking videos. So I was like, okay, well, how can I, how can I talk about food and cooking in a way that wouldn't require as much going into the product? So I came up with a blog. Like the blog seemed like the greatest idea because I can write out everything. Um, it takes a little bit less time, and instead of filming everything, I can just take pictures of everything, and it kind of gets the point across. So. The blog is going to be a food blog as well as a travel blog for when I'm going away um, this upcoming summer. And I think I'm going to actually, I think it's also going to have some, if we're going home for Christmas too, I think it'll have a lot of, basically anytime we travel somewhere, there's going to be something on the blog about it, I think. It's not live yet. It's not ready for your eyes yet because it's still pretty bare. So I just wanted to talk about it because tonight is the first night that I'm actually going to be making like a recipe and like cooking for that blog. Hold up, I gotta... Very trying not to spill my coffee. And trying not to... Ah! 
Drop the camera, I'm spilling. So tonight is going to be the first recipe I'm gonna make that's gonna go on the blog. I'm not even really positive when this like blog is gonna be ready for you guys to see at all yet because I feel like I have to put way more content on there before I can actually say, go check out my blog. Because if I said that and you guys went there right now, there's literally one article, like one blog post on there and like that's not enough. So I need to put like more stuff on there. I'm just really excited about it. I'm excited about writing again and cuz I used to be I used to write so much. I used to write all the time stories. I used to have tons of journals that I would write in and it just feels really good to get that out of my system again. It's going to be awesome to have a place where when I travel, I can like I can talk about everything I'm doing and I don't need the the huge amount of internet that I need when I'm doing vlogs because when I'm video, like with video, you need to edit, you have to upload and it takes a lot of bandwidth. You need to have a, a pretty heavy duty internet connection in order to upload vlogs to YouTube, which um, I think is getting easier and easier to find now in this day and age, but it's a lot easier for me to post blog posts because they just require you to have that like internet for like a second so you can just post something really quickly and it just is a lot more convenient which is why I wanted to have a blog for travel. So food and travel blog. It's weird to say blog instead of vlog. But I'll be, I'll be doing both so. Yeah, I'm just excited about it. I thought I should tell you guys what this project is all about. Blake, go put pants on. <laughs> no, I'm playing with it. Tonight we're having chicken cordon bleu with Blake wants green, green beans. beans. Uh, I'm kind of leaning carrots, like, but oh, carrots. I mean not carrots. I mean I peas carrots. and carrots would be good. Whatever, if you're cooking, that's fine. Whatever you want. Okay, well I'll go get some pants on. That's what we need to do. Why? Uh, well, I don't want you to get arrested. You know, I don't even think you would get arrested if you're wearing underpants. Is that like okay? I don't know. Okay. Girls can wear bikinis in public. That's true. Little girl. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh no. Oh, I caught you. Babe, look, look. Look at, I got those tiny socks on. Look at how oh, pathetic cool. they are. Yeah. These are little socks that you're supposed to wear with flats. And I think they're so funny because I've never worn socks this tiny before. They like barely fit over my toes. Mm -hmm. you know, I also need to get Costco though. What? There's <clears throat> more paper towels, toilet paper, hand soap. Okay. Because this one's almost out. Okay. Bathroom? When you went upstairs, that okay. one's doing fine. Are we doing Costco tomorrow though? We sh I think we should. Or we can do Sunday. I mean, whatever. Oh, but you're not today is no, what I was saying. Okay. Today. It's cool, cool, cool. Leave everything out because I'm going to start cooking. Okay. okay. Check it out. I'm not even going to touch anything. We got ham. Cool. Got ham, we got chicken, and check it out. Check it out. Fresh. Would you consider this fresh? I mean, we don't know sure. how fresh I mean, it is. Cart, Rosemary and thyme for the chicken cordon bleu that we are making. We also got eggs. Look, a <laughs> this is the smallest thing of eggs I've ever gotten in my life. Because usually we get our eggs from Costco and we're on like our last tiny bit of eggs, but we're going to Costco this weekend. So I didn't want to buy like a thing of eggs at the store at Smith's because we're going to get some bigger eggs. <laughs> but more eggs, I should say. We got some Pepper House Gourmets. Actually, Blake picked this up. Oops. <clears throat> It's gone. We don't do that in this house. Just like using fucking eggshells in the goddamn egg container. Are you, are you mad? Well, no, this is fucking always happening. <laughs> you know, part of I living with me. I was like, oh, hey, that's nice. It tastes good. It's got caffeine in it. I'm tired. Oh, no, there's no left. No Whatever. I always leave the packages where they live even when there's none left. Like I took the last Coke and I didn't even bother to throw the package no, away. No, oh, someone else will get it. Well, my job. no, I mean, I don't know. I just, I don't, I forgot. Don't throw it away, that's recycle. Okay. That's recycle, stop it, no. It's recycle. Oh, here's a buggy that you can get now. No, ew, is it alive? Kinda. Ew, step on it. No. Why not? Step on it. With your bare feet? I don't want to step on it with my bare feet. So we got some Gruyere cheese. This is the imported Gruyere oh, from... Uh, hear that pop? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> you, you 
kill them. Yeah, of course they kill them. This Gruyere cheese from Switzerland imported, and it's like the authentic kind, and it was like seven dollars for this little thing. But that's what you get with. You know, fancy cheese. Some more flour because we were out, or just about to be out. Finally, pot holders. How much were these? Seven ninety nine a piece. Oh, nice. Look, they have chefs on them. Aren't they so cute? Jeez. We never had them. Like this is our first time buying them in like our life. Like we've never had them. We've yeah. just used wipes and crap. Ooh. It's been a while, she's sad. We also picked up some Chardonnay, which, Chardonnay. which is, um, you're supposed to use a white wine for cooking uh -huh. Cordon Bleu. I read that Chardonnay is good for like chicken and sauces, so, because it has a more defined flavor, huh? We don't need that much for sure, but that's, that's the kind Chardonnay that... Chardonnay right here. Well, we needed more than that, I think. Okay. That's, just a, that's just a drink. That's just a snack. Yeah, we also got some toothpicks, which is something that I feel like everybody should need, but we needed it specifically for cooking tonight. Also, half and half. Is that the only thing in here? Oh, and heavy cream and mustard. So, this is like fancy mustard. Maybe not that fancy <clears throat> mustard, but it's good mustard. What? You look like you have to say something. No. Oh, there's more things over here. Saran wrap. Um, a meat tenderizer. Is that what this is called? A mallet meat tenderizer? Oh, <laughs> I could just read it. Meat tenderizer. <laughs> I just want to be- I just, we also got a thermometer because we didn't have one and um, that's just gonna make our lives a whole lot easier when it comes to telling you if this thing is out. done. Yes, you can let her out, but I'm gonna start cooking. Okay. So we've been cooking for a solid, I don't know, how long? At least an hour and a half, probably. Yeah, probably about an hour and a half. Um, just because cooking takes a long time. So these are the chickens. I, do you like my do you like my cover here? We don't have a lid that's big enough to cover our cast iron, so I used another another skillet. So that's what they look like. They're a little bit crusty on the outside, like like a little bit more than golden brown. Good. Yeah, Blake, Blake's happy with that, so that's great. And then this is the sauce, um, and it's basically a mixture of Chardonnay, onions, chicken stock, chicken bouillon, and cream. And it's it's shaping up. We're waiting for it to reduce a little bit, and we're going to put it on top of the chicken cordon bleu, and it's going to be so good. I'm so excited about this. Are you going to taste it? Maybe. Taste it. I'll think about it. Blow on it. No. You're not going to blow on it? I'll blow on it. Okay. Smells good though. It smells a little bit like wine. Well, yeah, that's why I'm waiting for the wine to reduce, mm -hmm. and you're like, no, I have to try it right now. Yeah, why don't you try it actually? Okay, here. Mm. It's pretty thin. I kind of want it to be thicker. Yeah, you can let it sit, but it's. At least what I tasted was pretty good. Yeah, we gotta let that wine. Okay, finish. maybe I, yeah. A little bit acidic with the wine, mm -hmm. but that's okay. The sauce is the hardest part because you have to, it's like touchy. It's still pretty salty though. Put a little bit too much salt in there, I guess, but. Mm. Done goof. You're done goof. That's what we call it. It'll be okay, it'll be okay. I'm gonna go too bad. Okay. Sounds okay. good. Okay. <laughs> Guys, check out what I just made. Look at how perfectly cooked it is. Oh my goodness, there's like toothpicks inside, but like there's green beans on top, the sauce goes all around, and it's just so good. Blake's cutting into his right now. Oh my god. You might have run into a toothpick. Oh my god, look at that. Mmm. Oh. <gasps> Dijon mustard smells good. Mm hmm. That looks so yummy. We're gonna enjoy this. It will be in a recipe on the blog. So I'll let you guys know when you guys can check that out. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, no. Shh, shh, it's okay. No, it's like, what's going on, guys? Is everything okay? No, 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 no stop. I got to see something. No. No, there's something in your ear. No, there isn't. no I got to get it. Do you like dinner? Mm -hmm. Is it really good? I'm full. I know, I'm really too. full. I know. I'm like sleepy. Yep. Like, like the food made me so tired. Hey guys, so I just wanted to kind of 
apologize for the videos this week and how off schedule they have been. This whole week was so weird when it came to editing. If for some reason, like I couldn't, I couldn't find the time to do it. And so it got pushed off until way late in the evening. And so the videos didn't go up until way late, days late. That kind of blows. And I'm really, really sorry about that. And I'm hoping that because the weekend's coming up and you're going to be watching this Saturday morning, I'm deciding that um, it's all almost edited already and I'm going to upload it and schedule it to go live um, 6 a.m. Pacific time on Saturday, so tomorrow morning. So that way it's nice and early for you guys and you guys can watch it first thing in the morning. I, I'm not usually so bad about timing wise and getting, I mean, like I oftentimes don't get the vlog up on time at like five o'clock every day, but usually I'm pretty good about getting it up on the same day, <laughs> like on the right day when it's an upload day. So um, I don't know, I kind of was not very good about that this week and that kind of blows. So I'm hoping that when the weekend comes around, we're gonna do like lots of fun stuff this weekend. I'm hoping, cross your fingers, I don't know, we'll see. And um, and I'm hoping that because we're gonna get, you know, like we're gonna do fun things and get good footage this weekend, I'm hoping that'll kind of even out the schedule a little bit and we'll be, we'll be back on track. So that's kind of what I'm hoping. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up and say I'm really sorry for the way that the vlogs have been going up for this past week because it was, it's been really all over the place and I haven't given you guys a lot of heads up on schedules or anything like that, so that's my bad. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because we put up videos, hopefully, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 o'clock Pacific time. I'll be sure to keep you guys in the loop um, if things change, so I'll just I'll let you know. So. I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you on Monday. Bye.